Hey fools about Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, I'm gonna do a three-part series for Keto on a Budget, getting $3.33 meals from Costco Keto with my Costco Keto haul coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb. I have lost 67 pounds and growing, or in shrinking, through intermittent fasting and through the ketogenic diet. And today I'm going to do keto on a budget. How we can do in this three part series, $3.33 keto meals from Costco. I'm gonna show you my whole Costco keto haul, the grocery shopping, but it's gonna be broken into a three part series so you too can save money and do keto on a budget and do cheap keto eating that's healthy eating. A lot of my grocery haul is gonna have organic food. But first, before we go into all that, give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe and put down in the comments Costco keto if you wanna see more videos just like this comments do dictate um, what videos I do. And finally, if you want my free Costco shopping printable, I have a free, Cost a free Costco keto shopping list. If you'd like that, totally my gift for you for being a part of the Countess of Low Carb community. And I'll show you that at the end. Let's dive into the content. Seafood is the best. I highly recommend this seafood. Like this, for example, um, different crabs and the fish. I'm not getting this today, but I highly recommend it. So these young chickens are the staple in my order. I'm definitely going to get these because you can freeze them, you can put them in your fridge. They are a great organic chicken. I love them and they're about $10 per chicken. So that's going to make the price cost um, to make it keto on a budget and to make it cheap keto or organic. So I'm going to go ahead and get four chickens. I may get six, but I'm just going to kind of look through and see which ones are the best ones. Ideally, I'm going to get the ones that are a little bit bigger than, say, this size because it's a better value. So the next thing I'm going to get is the pork shoulder. Again, I'm going to look for a cheaper one in this value. This one's 28 bucks. I'm going to grab this guy. He's going to make for a great um, keto crock pot recipe that will be perfect. I'm not doing this today, but their chickens are only $5 if you don't feel like making your own. Of course, these are a little bit cheaper because they're organic. These are a great option if you just want to grab one, but do note there are creepy carbs in the spices. There's dextrose and malodextrin in their spices that can stall your weight loss. So I'm going to snag a pack of their organic ground beef. This is for 99 it's 5 bucks a pound um, for 20 bucks. I'm going to grab this one too. And we'll use these for a bunch of our meals, but I am debating about whether to get these or not since they're already made into patties. Um, I actually may get a package of these for my hamburgers and a package of these for my tacos. And I'm debating between the two because these are only um, $3.69 a pound and these are $5 per pound for the organic um, with outweighs with antibiotics and things like that. So let's talk a little bit about keto on a budget, how much my meat has cost so far. I've gotten two $20 chickens, so that's $40. Ground beef was another $20. The patties was another $20, so what is that, 80 bucks? My rump roast was $28, I'm just gonna round it up to 30 for my roast, so that's 80 plus 30 is 110 on meat. Um, and I did get some scallops. <laughs> Those will be for something else that's not part of my keto on a budget. That's for a different upcoming YouTube video. But in my three-part Costco keto haul series, my meat so far is $110. My goal was to spend, let me check out my, my, my little notebook. Let me look at my list. I have my list going and my cost analysis going. So my budget was to do $170. So I just spent $110 on meat. That leaves me $60 left for my staples and for my um, veggies. So let's see if I can do the rest of this haul in 60 bucks at Costco for keto. I don't know. We'll see if I can do it. I saw this and it was calling to me. So I want to check out this cauliflower pizza kit. Let's look at the ingredients and see if this is keto approved. I'm going to say it's not, but let's look. Let's look if I can get to the ingredients. I can't get to the ingredients. Hmm. The tomato sauce definitely is not. I'm sure that has a lot of sugars on it. But why are they covering up the ingredients? This is maddening. There we go. The crust has cauliflower, mozzarella, cheese, rice tap, um, rice flour, and tapioca starch would make it a no-go. It also has added sugars. This is not keto. Sorry guys, not keto approved. So their Kerrygold cheese is almost six bucks. But for this huge pound, this is huge, and this is going to go for a lot of awesome keto meals, easy keto meals, and lazy keto meals. So I'm going to snag some of the organic um, or regular 
avocado packages, like the little packages. I'm debating though if this is gonna blow my keto budget. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try to see if the mask adds up with adding these in, or if I should just get regular avocados. I'm gonna see how the mask plays out. If you are loving this video, give it a big old thumbs up and put down in the comments below Costco Keto, and wait till the end to get my free Costco Keto Shopping List printable. So one of my tips for staying on budget is use your list. That's why I have my list, so I won't buy excess or extra, and I won't forget anything either. Get a list. So I'm gonna snag some broccoli too. This is another $5 onto my total. I keep adding up here. Um, but this should go a long way for snacks, for keto snacks. So I'm gonna snag three of the organic spinaches to add those in to my total. I'm also going to go ahead and get their six count of their romaine hearts. I'm going to try to look for one that has a long shelf life on the expiration date. Let's see here. When was this packed? I always check this to make sure I get the furthest one. So this was packed, gosh, eight days ago. I'm looking to see if there's another one. There's not. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. It looks like it's the furthest and add that. So that was now on lettuce and greens, $16 to my total plus. The avocado was another $28 total, plus this was another six, plus 28 is $34 out of my $60 remaining budget. I am not seeing any of the other things I needed, so I'm gonna snag some asparagus. This is a lower carb vegetable. This is $5 for the big old pack. So I'm gonna snag this for five bucks and add that. I won't be getting though my peppers or my radishes unless they're outside of this freezer room. I still need for items, I know y'all can't read this, but I can read it. I still need celery, peppers, radishes, and broccoli, mayonnaise, almond flour, pesto, sour cream, and heavy cream. I don't know if I can do that in the remaining $34, but I'm gonna try. I have the peppers for eight bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and put my asparagus pack and get a package of these while they're not organic. This is what I need. A six pack for eight bucks is $1.25 per pepper. Kind of expensive, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag some heavy cream. This whole container is four dollars and fifty-nine cents. I'm gonna get a whole thing of that. We're gonna use that for some goodies too. I also need to snag a container of their mozzarella cheese. It's a lot of it for ten bucks, but this is gonna go a long way. I have tons of carry gold at home. So I don't need any, but it would be something. Oops. There we go. I would have tons of carry gold that would normally be on my list. I don't need any because I have tons, but it would be a great keto Costco choice if you need it. So I've talked about it before in other Costco haul videos, which I'll have to put down below, but their bone broth, the organic one here, the culinary treasures is good with keto because it does not have added sugars. Most bone broths do. This one is an approved one that I would definitely recommend, but I'm gonna make my own from my chickens, so I don't need any, but if I did, I would snag this. It's 16 bucks for six cartons of it that are 32 ounces total. I also need eggs as well, so I'm gonna snag some of these cage-free eggs. They're $6 for two dozen, which is a great deal. So it's basically three bucks for a dozen for the organic cage-free ones. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those two and put those in our, our Costco haul. We do have the everything bagel seasoning here. I don't need it, but it is a great keto option that I like to get. I'm now trying to find the almond flour here. I'm not having great success, and I also need pesto. So those are my last two things before I roll out. Um, hopefully I can find them. <laughs> I'm like going through every single aisle. They also do have over here some great avocado oil. I don't need any, but it's a great option as well if you're looking for that. Walnuts, the walnuts here are also a great price. The huge bag is only 10 bucks. I have tons of nuts at home, so I don't need them, but it is an option too if you're looking for a low carb keto snack. I'm still on the never ending quest for pesto. So y'all have heard my struggle with the Kensington mayonnaise. It's eight bucks for this whole jar. It is keto approved, but not really because it has sugar in it. So the added sugar would make it not keto. However, it is made out of avocado oil. If you use Duke's mayonnaise that has soybean oil, which is inflammatory, this has sugar, it's a poison. It's a nominal amount per the company's release on it. But um, the only real clean, as I put in air quotes, keto mayonnaise is the primal mayonnaise, which I'll put in the description link below. Totally a cheap keto go-to that I go to is using tuna. You can have two to once a week because of the mercury and you can look, let's see, they're about 15 bucks for, how many cans is that? Eight cans, so it's about $2 per can. 
Um, but that would be a great meal, a cheap, inexpensive, cheap keto meal and a keto on a budget meal that I definitely have done. I also have done their chicken salad as well, getting them in the can too. I prefer to make my own though, but that is definitely an option as well. I film on the quest for my almond flour and also on my, on my quest for my pesto. I literally have been down about 10 aisles and I still can't find it. Help! I found it, it was on an end cap. It's $13 for this huge bag, which lasts for forever. It's three pounds for the 13 bucks. It's a great deal. So here's my sour cream. It's almost four bucks for this huge tub. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag that for my Costco keto list. It's a good one for only four bucks and a gigantic quantity. I'm in. On the pesto, I feel like it's a big victory. The pesto is eight dollars and forty-nine cents for this huge jar. Yeah. It is. I don't even know. It's one point three eight out um, pounds for the pesto jar. I say get it. Does anyone else get distracted by this section, or is it just me? Am I the only one? If you are loving this video, put down below Costco Keto and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Now back to the content. That was a workout! Am I stupid or nuts for coming here on a Saturday? Surprisingly, I got in and out in under 45 minutes. I cannot believe it. I'm stunned on a Saturday. Woohoo! Yay, rural Virginia! So, this was supposed to be a cheap keto budget. I'm out of breath, y'all. I was hoofing it. Did you like my shoes, by the way? Those are my Karl Lagerfeld shoes. I love those shoes. I digress. So my total was, let's see if I can get it in there. You guys see that? Hopefully you guys can see that. It was $234.61. My goal and budget was $170. I blew $64 past. However, hold up folks, hold up. This can still be a cheap keto video. This is still a keto on a budget video. A lot of, to, in my defense, a lot of this is gonna have not just for this meal. Like I need to buy that mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is gonna last more than the meals I have. So if you took half of that, that's $4 off. If you took half of the heavy cream, that's $2 off. If you took half of like the pesto, for example, I'm only gonna use a fourth of that. So if you took $6 off for that, like if you start taking off what I'm not gonna use all this week, then the budgeting makes sense. Then the budgeting makes sense. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see how it plays out, folks. I think if I can get the meals maxed out, I can still come in my $3.33 per meal uh, goal that I had for my keto meal, that each keto meal or easy keto meal was $3.33. I think I can still do this, guys, because I had total 51 meals. If I can jack up the meals and then freeze them, I realized I just forgot freaking sausage. Mm. I had my list and everything. I had my list and everything. Here's my list of everything and sausage I forgot. So I'm gonna have to go get that. That's gonna make my total even higher. But check out now um, part two and three of how I make this all come together. It is going to come, I'm going to make it come down to $3.33 per easy keto meal and lazy keto meal. I will, I will, I will. So check out parts two and three, but let me go show you what my actual haul was. I figured out where my mistake was in my order of why I was so high. One, I bought way more chickens than I needed. I only needed to purchase two, not four. That would have saved me 20 bucks. And then the overage, so to speak, on I'm not gonna use this whole jar of pesto this week. I'm gonna use a fourth of it. So if I ration that out, that would save some money. Sour cream would save some money. Like I'm gonna be using this the rest of the month and I'm gonna have more meals. So check out part two in this series and part three to see really what the total, the grand total at the end was. I'm gonna pop cards up for part two and part three if you wanna go check those videos out. Um, to see how the series goes on this keto on a budget and uh, cheap keto videos, how, how it all pans out. But I, I, I'm rooting for myself. If you're rooting for the countess, put down below, I'm rooting for you in the comments. Okay, here is my hamburgers. There are, how many? One, two, three, 12 hamburgers in this package. So what is that, $1.75 per hamburger for this whole pack? Then I got this huge roast. This is gonna be great for my crock pot. It was $28. I believe I can cut this into four different servings and basically each portion of it would be about a dollar, a dollar 25 for the roast. Um, I think that my meals, I way undershot being able to make 51 meals. I think I can make way more than that. So here's my five dozen eggs. I ended up changing it out just for the cage-free ones because the organic ones were a little bit higher priced. Um, I did get two of the chickens, $21 for this one, $20 for this one. I overbought on these. This was also one of my big mistakes. I should have only bought the two pack. I can, I misjudged how much and I forgot how much chicken and um, chicken stock and bone broth and stuff like that will come off of this. So that would have saved me 20 bucks right there. 
The next thing I got was some more heavy whipping cream, some asparagus, a whole thing of sour cream, way more than we need, way more. Almond flour, way more than we'll end up using. The basil, way more of the pesto. Um, this pesto, I'll probably use a fourth of it. So um, tons of mozzarella cheese. I, I don't think I'm gonna use all of this for the meals I'm gonna be making. My Sir Kensington mayonnaise with avocado oil. Again, remember it does have that sugar in it as one of the ingredients. I got my Kerrygold grass-fed cheese. Poor Chuck wants to say hello. The cheese, um, this was uh, two pounds almost. It was 10 bucks. It was more than I thought it was when it rang up. I did end up giving this avocado mash. This is great for high fats to be added in. And so it was about a dollar, a dollar or 70 or 75 cents per little container, which is kind of a lot, right? When I can get an avocado like this one on sale at Aldi for 60, 70 cents. So just something to keep in mind for price comparison's sake. I did get a whole bunch of romaine lettuce. That's six, that's basically six meals because I do usually do a half. Either I'll split it with my husband or have a whole one by myself. So I'm gonna count that as six meals for that. A whole thing of broccoli. I got three, which chop is Jonesin for some reason. Three of these organic spinaches. That's gonna last two cups is two, um, it says on here 1.5 cups is two net carbs. Um, and it has a ton of magnesium and potassium. There's more potassium in this than there is in bananas, which is one of the reasons why I like it for keto. I also did end up finding my peppers, which are expensive. They're about a dollar and a quarter per pepper, which kind of stunk. I'm looping around here. I did get, um, that rung up on a different order, but I did get some scallops in that. That's for another something completely different than this. And then I did get my organic ground beef. I got three packages of those. There's my Flying J beef jerky, which I'll put in the description link below. That's from Amazon, but that's different. So here's my amazing haul that I got. I got tons of stuff. This is great. So if you've loved this video, put down below Costco Keto in the comments. Give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe. I would love for you to, uh, first and foremost, get check out the other two videos in this series. They'll be coming out after each day. Those will be in the description link below as they are released. So if you see this a week from after this is released, they will be down in the comments below and also in the description link. If you want your free Costco keto shopping list printable, my gift to you, there's an email download um, that you can sign up with down in the description link below. I would love for you to get that. It's from, who doesn't love free goodies? I love free goodies, but I love printables. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Now go watch part two and go watch part three. Bye guys.